Day 21, zero to one billion. This is Sunday's video. I'm posting this a bit later than I wanted to, but if you're new here, this is my day-to-day -day journey of my entrepreneurship journey, um, where I basically just build my business, my skill sets, and myself every single day. Um, right now, my current business model that I run is a home servicing company, and for my like lead source generation, what I do is door to door sales. So that's basically the majority of what I do. Um, so even though I'm filming this video a couple days later, um, you know, I obviously want to provide as much value as I can with these videos. Um, a lot of the time I don't have much to like teach or much to reflect on as my day is very like mundane and like my what I do is honestly really redundant. Like I do the same shit over and over again and which I'm not complaining about. I don't think that's a bad thing at all, but sometimes there's just not much to reflect on, at least on like a day-to-day -day basis. But throughout the week, I try to just give as much reflections and insights as I learn throughout this journey to hopefully provide value to anybody watching this. But, you know, sometimes I don't have things to say and, and, and I sometimes put these videos like back because I want to obviously like come up and like I want to sit down and like see how I can provide like the most value but sometimes my days are just jam-packed and it's hard for me to like really get out all those things so since I'm a little bit behind right now I'm gonna speed run these videos because I got a couple to do since I'm a little bit behind um obviously I don't intend on doing this again I'm gonna organize and structure myself better so I don't have to keep missing these videos but it's just been like an ongoing cycle and especially since if you, I don't know if you see my other videos I tend to go to bed super late and I've kind of been fixing that schedule. So like as soon as I get home, when I get tired, I've just been like knocking out. So anyways, so let's talk about Sunday. Most of my Sundays, they're pretty similar. I don't door knock on the weekends, at least for now, um, because the business is obviously pretty small. Like there's not any money being generated for the business as of right now on the weekends when I'm not going. But, but you might see like throughout this, like, throughout the next couple weeks i'm gonna be making up some saturdays that i owe because i have a 65 day goal i have i have a from march 4th to may 31st i want to go like i want to knock 65 days and basically like yeah that's just a goal i have it's every monday through friday from there so i just want to hit that and although i've missed a couple days and i'm gonna miss you know potentially more like shit happens um i'm gonna obviously try my best not to um yeah, so i'm gonna make those up on saturdays but for the most part saturdays and sundays i don't normally work i normally just work on other things for the business um i'll definitely start um saturdays more in the summer i think that's a plan i have for sure but as of right now i'm just going in five days a week um and yeah, well, obviously if I'm not getting the results I want, I'll only increase whether it's my output on a day-to-day -day basis. Right now I'm working 10 hour days. So I go in at, I head out at 9 a.m., go from 9.30 all the way till 7, 7.30 p.m. So like nine and a half, 10 hour days. That's kind of what I'm running right now. Um, I feel good, um, obviously, slack and sleep so that's something i'm definitely going to be working on this coming week um but yeah so sundays so sundays i just try to go go a couple goals i have for sunday i just go to church um and i just want to obviously hit my daily protein goal and i just like take like my daily supplements i don't religiously follow like a supplement routine but you know if i can't take my supplements i'm not gonna die but like just like vitamins like vitamin d stuff like that um not that it's necessary but just something i like to do personally um so yeah uh sunday this sunday so i did not go to church um i kind of have this little thing that i do because i get such little sleep which is obviously something i'm trying to work on i normally just take like one day where i just absolutely like sleep in and that days just happened to have been on like Sundays more than not. Um, and, you know, obviously my priorities have not been straight in that sense, but because on Saturdays I normally go, like at least what I've been doing, like 
like before starting the series a little bit every saturday i was like heading up to the sonora snowboard because it's one of like my hobbies and and yeah i uh I would out sleep and then so then like Sunday like you know maybe after just like two weeks or three weeks just like one Sunday I would absolutely just sleep in and although it's not a good thing to do that um, because I miss I'm missing church which is a goal of mine to do um, which I'm not gonna get too much into but I did not make it this Sunday so I kind of didn't hit that goal which which you know it's okay it's not the end of the world but it's definitely something i want to do because i like personally want to do it like it's something i genuinely want to do and i genuinely enjoy but i just slept in the sunday so i didn't make that um and as far as else to like what i did on sunday i um uh, i also just sundays i normally kind of just set myself for the week so i was just like kind of putting like my gym getting my gym clothes ready organizing my room up a bit and organizing like some CRM, my calendars, seeing, kind of reflecting on the week. Um, I write a little reflection on my journal. So just at the end of the week, see if there's anything to gain a value. Just ask myself questions why. There wasn't much of that that went on this week. Um, there were a couple problems as far as like that, like the business, which are super fixable, which, you know, were just my error. So we're just gonna obviously implement them throughout the rest of this week and, and yeah. As far as my long-term goals, I'm not gonna get into it too much right now because I can't talk about these things for like certain reasons right now, but eventually I'll talk more about this. Um, like some business plans and stuff have changed. Um, I can't really say much more than that, honestly. So, so as far as like long-term goals, they are changing a little bit just because of these business changes that have been like made as of recently. So, I, I I don't really want to speak much on that right now, but but you know I'm not tr getting too like psyched out on like the like worried about like the future. All I'm doing for right now is just kind of focusing on what I can control, my present, which is my day to day life. And as long as I'm constantly improving and not getting comfortable, because something I actually want to talk about here is that I was talking with my buddies. When you start to do something that you've done a lot, that was hard at one point it starts to become more easy and comfortable. And you kind of have like this thing in your head that, well, no, it is hard because it was hard at one point, but what might've been hard a couple months ago is not hard to you now. So you gotta always be resetting your standards and working as hard as you possibly can. Because I found myself honestly getting complacent because I was hitting like, I had goals that were hard back then, but because of putting myself through a bunch of uncomfortable situations and repetitions, me like as like let's say like a character i became more equipped to face these problems because i'd already like gone through them so now when things like this would happen i was just super much more prepared like i was there and and the goals were becoming and, and it, i was still giving myself like that dopamine of like hitting like the goals which but in reality i wasn't working as hard as i could so it's always good to just you know have some friends um um in the bible talks a lot about iron sharpens iron so i i live by that and i think just surrounding myself and being able to have like conversations with people like that is amazing and for a while i was kind of like surrounded in a group of people who didn't provide a lot of value to me in that sense and which is totally fine like you might be in like this little median or awkwardness of where you're you don't have maybe you're on the path and you feel lonely and, and for a while it might be lonely i've been lonely on my path also i'm just blessed and thankful to like have encountered and ran into people who are on the same plan as me but like you might be in the phase right now where you're like not how do i put this you're not like of status yet to like be surrounded with the type of people you want to be at and you're also like but you're also not hanging around with people who like you don't want to be like so you're kind of just in this medium like thing of like loneliness so my advice to you just stick it out um and and just talk to people man like i found these these like-minded people just by chance like through my church and i was just blessed to to like surround myself with friends similar minded and 
but yeah if you're kind of in the spot right now where you don't have aren't in the position to have like people on like the same who aren't on the same path as you it's totally fine um you know it is a lonely journey it's a very narrow path of success and that's why 99 percent of people can't do it but i promise you if you are just like just work on yourself a little bit more become the type of man that you would want to be friends with and i promise you like you will just like start to attract people who are similar minded to you so yeah it's kind of all for sunday um i got a couple more videos to make today just i'm a little backtracked but yeah